look at this gorgeous new iPhone 6. Bigger display, oh, that new camera. I am so happy I camped out here for four days to get this thing. Oh, these people and their new iPhones. Sure, the new phones are great, but what about those of us who are not eligible for an upgrade or just simply don't need a new phone? Well, with iOS 8 available as a free download on September 17th, this iPhone and even this iPhone can feel like those brand new ones. No, you won't get that new roomy screen, but you will get most of what's new and what's been fixed in the phone's operating system. Okay, sure, this place looks exactly like iOS 7, but you'll find most of the new stuff in the apps you use every day. In iMessage, you can now easily share your location and send video or audio messages that expire. Hey, Macarena. It's easier to respond to messages right from the notification alert, and it's easier to contact your besties right from here. The Photos app is better too, with new editing tools like the ability to finely tweak exposure and brightness. There's also this new icon on the screen, the Health app. It measures your activity using your phone's sensors and can also bring in information right from your Jawbone or Fitbit app. Apple has big plans for this, especially with the new Apple Watch. But right now, I find it complicated to use. The best new feature is getting the iPhone to talk to your Mac. When the next version of OS X, called Yosemite, arrives, you'll be able to take phone calls right on your computer. You can also instantly pick up an email you started on your phone when you come into close proximity. iOS 8 also brings some major fixes to things that have long been broken. You can finally write an email and then quickly go back to your inbox. It also can scan your email for contact information, so you can easily add it to your address book. And I'm considering throwing a little party for the new keyboard. No, really, I'm very excited about this. Borrowing a page from Android, it suggests words you might want to type. I've had far too much fun building sentences solely out of the words my iPhone now suggests. You are so cute when you get a new phone case. Send. This predictive typing speeds things up, but the new third-party keyboards are even faster. SwiftKey, my favorite Android keyboard, is now on iOS, and it's really fun to use. All the fixes aside, there are still some very weak spots in this operating system. Siri, wake up. Seriously, what have you been doing with yourself? I know you can recognize music now, but you don't make my life any easier. I still have to ask you for information, unlike Google Now or Microsoft's Cortana, which feeds me information when it knows I need it. The organization of the operating system also still feels stale. To see my most important information or notifications, I still have to pull down here. That said, iOS 8 is a big and smart upgrade. The apps you use the most are better, third-party apps are more integrated, and your phone is primed to now talk to your laptop, your home, and your body. It's almost like getting a new phone, except for that $200 plus a whole two-year commitment thing. And the curved edges, the bigger screen, the brand new camera, and the NFC for payments.